Welcome back to Bear and Breakfast. There's our bear. Looking savvy and suave. They got large pockets. You could fit anything in there. You could fit a notebook, a compass, an atlas, 94 plywood planks. Got all kinds of space. Damn right he's got pants now. And things are looking real good here. Day 10. With our uh, two properties. Working on the three guest stay in A24. Trying to get three five star reviews here in our Timber Crossing location. And uh, I'm sure we got plenty of other things we can get going too. I'm kind of on the loot hunt all of a sudden right now. I can't help myself in wanting to do that most of the time. All right, yeah, we can buy more bus signs too if we like. That's loggers tools, right? Yeah, we should probably go ahead and pick up at least one of those if we don't already. Oh, we got one, but let's go ahead and get two. That seems smart. We should be making more money, I bet, soon. Now that we've got two properties and are regularly cycling through guests. I think, the, I think our income is going to sort itself out. Skippy! Thanks for the 62. Welcome back in. Appreciate the bear hugs. Welcome back to the pile. I got two notifications from you and Gab about making breakfast with bear and was really confused for a second. I mean, I tried to be as clear as I could today. Although now I've just got people being like, well, why don't you just have a stream where you just eat breakfast? And I'm thinking to myself, is that content? And the overwhelming response is, duh. Anything's content. I'm sure that'll happen one day, too. I'm, I'm, I mean, I'm going to run out of things to play eventually, right? So one of these days I'll boot it up and I'll just have a bowl of frosted flakes and stare deadpan into the camera. Each spoonful, I slowly dribble a little bit of milk out the side. And it gets onto my shirt and you think to yourself, does he know? Does he know it's dribbling down his mouth and onto his shirt? Does he know he's got a huge milk stain on his shirt right now? You can't take your eyes off him. You just got to keep watching. Certainly at some point he's going to realize it's got to be so uncomfortable for him. See, I feel, I feel like we can already turn this into something compelling. Just gets bigger and bigger, right? Yeah. Big chickpea. Speaking of which, good morning. Thanks for the 28. Welcome back in. Challenge run, eat the cereal with no utensils. Yo, okay, here we go. Speed run categories for bowl of frosted flakes. Spoonless, right? <laughs> and milk, milkless. I don't know, man. I, I don't know if I want to go with a milkless run. That'd be, uh, I don't know, man. Frosted flakes are pretty good as a snack food. I, I could probably chow down on a bowl. The gods gave us hands for a reason. That clearly being... Ah, don't don't make a masturbation joke, Bear. You're better than that. Are you? I don't think so. Yeah, that's about where the line's drawn on you, I think. Right there. Right there is where your bar's at. Where your bear's at. Spoonless is low percent. Okay, so we gotta just go ahead and quickly label those categories. Just want to check on our guests again here real quick, see where they're at. Pretty sure we're meeting all their criteria, right? With this middle of the entire building bathroom we got going on here. Oh, don't do that. Hold on. Just trying to see this real quick. I eat my cereal milkless. I accept the hate. You use a spoon? You get, like, spoonfuls of dry cereal you put in your mouth? You just, like... Grab a handful of that shit. I don't know, man. Like, I guess it's just the way I was raised. It just seems like such a critical part of the cereal experience. The Siri, the Siri experience. There's something there. She's loving it. She's into it. Oh, dude, this is yep. No, perfect. <laughs> Bear tender, right? Yeah. Oh, they do just access the tap on their own. Okay, I was I was assuming there was gonna be like some dude working here or something. There's Tappy Girl. You gotta get in the webcam. No, it's Chubbs actually. 
proper chokes him. There's my bud. You're so handsome. Good morning. Everybody loves chubs. You're so good. I need your wagon tail more. You gotta wag your tail because you're so happy and you're so good. Oh, we gotta take care of our guests, buddy. Actually, to be honest with you, they're kind of taking care of themselves. This seems like it's sort of... This is, this is RimWorld-esque to me in that the ship kind of runs itself a lot of the time. You know what I'm saying? Which is nice. There's not a lot of micromanagement involved with the with the guest stays. I feel really uncomfortable watching you do that right now. <laughs> We're just going to go ahead and move over here. That's very strange. I don't know why they decided to. I, I thought maybe we'd get like some sort of Sims style censorship on that, but nope. Just dropping the shorts right in front of us. Okay. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to head to Timber Crossing for a bit. You do your thing. You take care of that. <laughs> Alright, I think he's gone, right? Yeah. Okay, anyway. So let's go see if we've got any quests available over in Sawmill. That seems like a good idea. I feel like that's probably a big priority right now, is just trying to find uh, ways to... Uh, well, you know, quests just in general, just to be able to give us things to do while we're doing other things. Always got to maintain that efficiency, right? That's the main idea behind these games, I think, is to focus entirely on playing them as efficiently as possible and being the best at this game and not just, you know, relaxing and enjoying yourself and trying to have a nice time. No, it's all about the competitive aspect. Obviously. We we're just talking about speedrunning after all, right? Bear, when are you going to speedrun Bear and Breakfast? Oh, you know, a week into its lifespan play it into the ground and get to the point two weeks later where, where I never want to see it again. Too real, right? Too real for a couple of the speedrunners out there in chat. Felt that deeply. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. You know it's true, though. Whoa! What the heck? Wow, well, find some shelter, dude. Jesus. Good old redwood tree. Save us from the storm. Question, does this bear shit in the woods? He's got pants on. He's civilized. How dare you? Slade Runner. Bear just bearing around as a bear and I'm here for it. I am living my bearest life, as you can see. Got my coffee. Feeling good this morning. All right. Not seeing any uh, exclamation marks. I am seeing a sleepy Tony. That's cute. Ooh. There we go. Let's try going this way. Go awaken him. Who hurt you? He's sleeping so soundly. Why would we disturb him? Oh, hello. No, it's not for me. Oh, it's a washing bin, of course. I don't know how poor I have to be for mom to take pity on me, but I'm, I'm willing to find out. Make sure you don't leave on an empty stomach. Too much food makes you sleepy. Too little just makes you dumb. <laughs> Thanks, mom. All right, apparently 110 is a little too much for her. Too rich for her blood. All right. Back to it. Yeah, I think, honestly, if we just go ahead and sleep through this night, things should get moving again here with these, uh, with these quests. I'm not sure if there's a lot of other things to do at the moment. I think we have a, a bus station left to repair, so I should find that. can't remember where that one was. Let me check the bus station we've got in A24, and that'll, that'll probably tell me real quick. Or I guess timber works too, yeah. I always decorate a little more too. Maybe try to go find some more valuables. 
Oh, speaking of which. Uh, oh no, I think we've got all the, yeah, we got all the bus stations restored right now. We just gotta wait until the game sees fit to introduce a new area. Why is this game legit a bit spooky at night? It really kind of is, isn't it, right? Yeah, I was mentioning that the last time that we got to a situation like this. Although this is very much uh, that one episode of Spongebob that I uh, always forget the name of the place. It's like deep something or other. Extremely the same vibe. Rock bottom, that's the one. He's just standing there, menacingly. I can do a better Patrick, it's early. I'll get there. Rocks, please, thank you. Got lots of goodies. Dude, you know what I really want to get eventually? Now that I've had the idea for it, oh god, I just, I... Please, please let this be a thing. Please, God, let you, let the bear eventually be able to ride a unicycle around. At some point in the story, they come across a junky old unicycle in the dump. They restore it, and you unlock the ability to ride a unicycle around as a little, like, speed boost for general movement. Please... God. Oh, I'm going to be so disappointed if that's not a thing now. And that's not it's not even realistic for me to expect that as a thing. It's unfair to create that expectation. But now that I have, I can't ignore it. Ah, oh, damn it. Unicycle or skateboard? What would you rather have? Oh, unicycle by a mile. In this, in this particular circumstance, Imagine the, the, how cute he would look. Look how he looks walking, for God's sake. The animation they must have made for him on a unicycle? I don't know if I'd be able to take it. It would be too cute. What about those funky bicycles with the huge front wheel? What are those are called? Don't those have a name? I swear those have like a fancy olden times name. Those literally are called penny farthings. I, I, why does that sound like it's like the name of the dude that made the bike? Penny farthing. All right. Anyway, let's go check our desk here. We got two open bedrooms, which means we must have made some money. We got a perfect review, dude. An absolutely decent stay. I might be tempted to recommend it. Ooh, what could we have done better for Elisha Lawson? She was comfortable. She was clean. It was unseemly. Oof. Unseemly, says Elisha Lawson. We're going to have to fix that up. What room was she in? Bedroom two? Let's take a look at bedroom two. It's pretty unseemly. I'm not going to disagree with her on that one. That's a, that's a, that's a fair critique. Yeah, we're going to need to fix that up. All right, let's get to work. I feel like I've got at least some decor stuff on my person right now, right? Yeah. We'll give her a sensible floor lamp. That just seems sensible. Is that lined up? Can't quite tell. I think so. Looks like it. Give her a little sturdy wooden shelf here in the back. Something like uh, this. Maybe down here with that one. Yeah, that works floor mirror sure right there next to the bed see your gorgeous self in the morning well that's a good start at least better than it was I wonder if there's anything I can craft that's considered decor I don't think there is at the moment I'm sure eventually we'll get that kind of stuff all right let's go go uh, let's go fill in bedroom number two now that we've improved the uh, decor there. Bedroom one's really looking nice. Gonna fill that in too. Sadly, our comfort is not really uh, something we can address right now. 
But Margot Hamilton, I'm sure she's going to be happy here. She's got all her needs met in either room. Let's go with bedroom two. And then let's see. Uh, let's go with uh, Jillian. No, let's go with Angela Keller. That sounds good. Oh, is bedroom three available now too? Oh, we can assign it before he leaves because he'll leave tomorrow. And then, okay, yeah, I gotta, I gotta pay attention to that. She needs a lot more hygiene though, which I don't know if there's actually anything we can do to increase the hygiene in here without getting a better sink slash toilet slash shower. So I think we'll just have to uh, hold off on this. I mean, I guess we could just get a four and a half star review, but that that feels dirty. Just like people probably think this bathroom is. Ah, oh, man, I really want to get another rug. That rug really ties the room together. In fact, hold on a second. Well, first of all, I need to move this thing. I don't know what the hell I was thinking with this placement. That clearly goes right there. Well, I guess it did feel kind of nice to have a rug in front of a door. But I'm sure our feet are clean. We need another five-star review at Timber Crossing. And I'm assuming that once this third dude leaves the motel, we'll have a uh, check that box. So I'll probably just head up here for a bit. Glad you guys are happy. Check in with Took. Although I could look at Palm Voyage real quick as well, see if there's any new blueprints. I don't think there are right now, though. Oh, look at that. Rustic Delight Bed Recipe. Okay. Interesting. I did buy that, right? Yeah, there we go. You've unlocked a new recipe. Very nice. Small vanity table and a cushioned footrest. Ooh. Fun, fun, fun. All right. A quick check with Took. Ah, oh, sleepy boy. 70 valuables. Let's see. I really like the way this hand-painted drawer looked in there, too. I'm going to go ahead and buy a couple more of these. And then let's get that rug again. Which one was it? Was it this one? I think so. Oh, wait, no, it was this one. Uh-oh. Yeah, that's fine. I'll have a third one. All right, that'll do for now. Thanks, Took. There's some more stuff over there. Gotta get it. Who are y'all most relating with so far here of all the people we've seen? I think it probably goes without saying, but I, I definitely see myself as a, as a Hank sort of guy with a little bit of his pal Will mixed in there. I think I'm, a, I, I, I'm more of a, a mill. Wait, a mill? No, a hill. That's what I'm trying to say. Hank plus Will. That's Bear. I'm a hill. It's pretty great, Mr. Five. Yeah, I'm having a great time with it. Not a wank? I mean, I, okay, yeah, that's, that's a little better, isn't it? Wi-Fi trucks, pets okay. Like, they have trucks? They have trucks you can borrow? Baby girl. Hello, Tuffy. What are you doing? You're so sweet, you're so cute. Oh, this has been... An integral part of the stream experience we've been missing, huh? Wandering puppers. All right, what was I doing? Time for decoration. Let's put some rugs down. Put a dresser in there. Right there. Right there. Nice. Love it. Eh, I think we could do something like this. Put this floor mirror over here. 
and then still have a dresser there. I like that. A little bit of synchronicity between the between the rooms here, although we do need to buy two more flower vases as well. How about a knitted rug for the bar? That seems kind of nice. And then again, hardwood hardwood floor bar. Yeah, that's better. We'll keep this for later. Very cool. Good decor. Let's go see if we can find a few more valuables. Get those flower vases. I'm sure we're pretty damn close to uh, finishing this quest here. Definitely not the way to go. Nothing but pavement from here. But we do get to zoom in on your face, and that's kind of cute. Oh, the world just ends? Hmm. Music change. All of a sudden, Hank begins to ponder mortality. He wears a mask of happiness, but underneath... Well, really, there's just more happiness. Look at him, for God's sake. How can he not be happy? Go forward, I can't. This is the end. Also, it literally won't let me. All right, back to it, buddy. Oh, did I do that? I thought that zoom happened automatically. Apparently I did that. Must have accidentally hit the scroll wheel. I don't know if there's any other exits from this place yet. Oh, there's one. There's a passage too. Let's go check that out. I bet that'll yield some results. All right, we can make this too. The gas pump. Nice. Watering hole for the modern tourist on the road. Extra guest request per day. What do we need? Prospector's gear. 1,500 smackers. Jeez. All right. I have to keep an eye out for that. Lots of junk in the junkyard again. There's got to be a way we can sell some of this stuff. We would be able to make a killing off of some of the things we got right now. I don't know if we've come across a way to do that yet. I don't think we have. Yeah, I'm really into the soundtrack. It's been really nice. Gimme, gimme, gimme. Gimme a quick rundown of what this game is about. You're a bear running a bed and breakfast. That's pretty much the gist of it. Going around collecting stuff. And we got our properties we're managing. Which once it allows me, I'll probably go ahead and just go to sleep tonight. We can get things rolling on the motel quest. Nighty night, buddy. One quick check of the map again here. Let me see if there was another exit that I didn't see from this place. I like these two. They're cute. Anton and Claire. That goes up to... Uh, what's it called? The swampy place. Nowhere to go on the road. All right, yeah, so no, no path from 824 right now, I guess. Ah, oh, man, we got to get another floor lamp there. It just looks wrong. 
Though I would feel bad putting it in there in the middle of the night on it like that. I'm, li I'm liking these ones now. I'm liking the way this is coming together, but we definitely got to get a few more rooms in here at some point. How much money we got? Oh, nice. Decent amount of cash. Is there arriving tomorrow? He leaves tomorrow. I'm pretty sure we met his needs. All right, looking good. Oh, shit. Leaving valuables on the floor in the bed and breakfast for shame. At least leave it out in the parking lot. Like a civilized person. That's probably enough valuables to get the flower vases that we wanted. Let's take a peek at that real quick. There we go. Slap those guys in there. Do -do. Is there a way to uh, pick up the entire stack of decorative items and uh, place multiple versions of them? Does anyone know? Is it like a, an alt click or a shift click or something like that for that? Where's the breakfast, though? I want pancakes. I am hoping that the breakfast becomes more incorporated into things here. Yeah, because right now there's been a, a surprising lack of breakfast. Oh, right. Yeah, of course, that lamp in the third room, too. I am going to be sensible, as the floor lamp would uh, imply, and uh, wait until morning time, though. So let's do it. Nice. Wakey, wakey. See you, buddy. Nice. I guess we got to go ahead and... Uh... I don't know, man. I don't know if I want every room to be exactly the same. Maybe in some places they'll all be exactly the same. Maybe in other buildings we'll make them all unique. That could be fun. Since I've already worked so hard on making all these so similar, I might as well go ahead and stick with that for now. Our new guests have arrived. Angela and Margot. Got our uh, new review. Oh, another 4.5. Might be tempted to recommend it. He says, unseemly decor again. Yeah, that was bedroom three after all. That was that was the one in need of some upgrading. Okay, anyway. Let's go turn in the quest. You got all requirements in check? Ready. Amazing. This concludes our foray into the roadside attraction business. Your extraordinary enterprise empire is expanding. Thanks to the hard work of your Pond Voyage representative. How can I ever repay you? Remember to start working on your next premium property. Locate your nearest shark-like agent and press the green button. Oh, he's out of here. Oh, how quaint. Come visit an old lady when you can, will you? I know my grandma voice is just far too creepy. I'm sorry. She's she's not that creepy. She's actually really sweet. Welcome to Pond Voyage Leadership and Advancement Program. You can now further improve this establishment. Successfully doing so will increase guest expectations for this location. Also increasing payout and bragging rights. In order to improve this premise, you must now successfully complete build five times level two bedrooms in A24. Reward a cool trinket that can help tell time. Oh shit, I wonder what that could be. Do you feel able to complete this task? Yes. Task in progress. So I'm guessing to make a level two bedroom, it just needs to be bedrooms with level, with enough stuff in them to get them up to level two, right? So let's get to work. A sundial, yeah. Let's get to building. Oh, but you know what we should do first is uh, craft the appropriate 
furniture. Rustic Delight Bed is apparently a level two bed, so that's good. Let's make five of those, I guess. And then we'll go with the small vanity table and the cushioned footrest. Nice. All right. Oh, I guess I could have just changed that to make five, right? Yeah, I just realized that. All right. No reason this change from the three by three, I think. I'm doing pretty well with that. And I think I like putting the door here. Yeah, we'll have them just match up with their counterpart. Although that does make this door feel a little weird, doesn't it? Maybe I'll change that. All right. So these guys are obviously going to look a little different than these guys, so... We'll deal with that later. Uh, maybe I should do this, actually. Yeah, this seems a little better. Just feels like the way it should be. Give them the vanity table there, and then the footrest hopefully can fit nicely at the end of this. I don't know why these are longer than the beds. Seems a little silly. All right. That looks pretty good. Needs a little decor in there, but I like the functionality of it. Here, I'll even give him a window. Real fancy. Right there, all right, nice. Looks good. Do it up. Hey, Nelia, welcome. All right, how much money we got now? Wow, a lot. Okay, yeah, that's not gonna be a problem, apparently. Let's make another. Right there. Same general thing. There's a footrest. There's a vanity. Nice. How does one know if it's a level two bedroom? That's a great question. Because I'm not seeing a way to tell right now. I'm guessing if we look at the details on our front desk, it might help us out. A windowless room. There we go. Yeah, it is dead center of the building after all. Am I building two more? I think so. Although I think we need to build a bathroom there, maybe? Hmm. Maybe we could do a bathroom here. This place shouldn't need two bathrooms. <laughs> but apparently it does. Big ass bathroom right next to the bar. Yeah. There we go. With a window. And a shower. Because, you know, sometimes you feel like taking a shower after you go to the bar. Ah, it's not going to let me put in another toilet, is it? All right, this will just be a giant restroom here, then. I gotta make sure they can see well out of here, right? Oh, wait, hold on. We gotta move this window. Into the way, into the bathroom. Yeah, there we go. Keep it well lit. Right above the toilet there, there we go. All right, looking good. Good airflow, yeah. One more bedroom. Right there. Maybe two more. Yeah, two more. Mm -hmm. I mean, hell, let's make it a luxury suite. Why not? Put it right in the middle there. Oh yeah, that's real fancy. Get him the vanity. You gotta be vain if you're staying in this room. Ah, oh, yeah, that bothers me, dude. <laughs> I really wish it was the same width. That looks okay, I guess. Yeah, that'll work pretty well. 
Oh, look, we got a nice rug for this room, too. Oh, damn it. I want to put it right in the middle. Eh, that's not bad. Eh, nah, it looks kind of weird. Ah, damn it. All right, I'll take it. Yeah, that's pretty good. Cool. The nice bedroom right next to the bar. Well, I mean, I'm sure that's a bonus to a lot of people, right? It's a really thick wall. It's it's very well soundproofed. Oh, yeah, window, of course. I forgot. Right there? I think we're right there. Hmm. Probably right there, yeah. Maybe two windows. That's not bad. It would be more properly lined up right there, wouldn't it? What about, like, that and then, like, that? That's pretty good. Yeah, I like that. Extravagant, I know. Cool. Now let's check and see if these are level two bedrooms. Which I honestly still couldn't tell you. They all have hygiene, so that's good. Um, hmm. Oh, details, right? Probably. Hold on. So let's. It's gonna be difficult to keep track of which bedroom is which. I'm so, this is so, so weird. <laughs> uh, I'm not seeing any level. Anybody seeing where you can see the bedroom level? Surprisingly, they all have a decent decor rating already. Without me even having added too much to their individual rooms. Hmm. Is it just the level of the bed, maybe? Maybe if we build one more of these exact rooms, which I have to cram it in there somewhere. I guess I could just do one right there, right? Yeah, that'll work. Out of the way, barrel. Let's try it. See if it works. This seems so tiny now. There. Right there. Right there. Burn air. Hey, nice. That did it. Okay, apparently they are level two bedrooms. Well, that works. Good enough. We'll fix them up later. Did you just put the bed right in front of the door? No, it's on the bottom. The door's on the bottom, I mean. Is the job complete? Uh-huh. Congratulations, you've once again proven yourself barely above minimum expectations. Guests will now have higher expectations for this location. A watch! Awesome. Uh, shows you the time. Oh, is that... This? Was this not here before? I guess not, huh? That's fun. Okay. I guess you don't have to put it on. Further improvements available at this location. You must now successfully complete the following task. Complete the stay for 10 guests in A24 for 300 coins. Sure. Probably gonna be doing that anyway. Well, we got a whole bunch of rooms available and they're all pretty good, so let's fill them up, I guess. Comfort level's really good for these guys now. Yeah, that's great. Okay, so hopefully, uh, as, long as, as long as their hygiene requests aren't that high. Yeah, we can totally help out everybody here. Nice. Let's do it. Accept. 
uh, a sign. Accept. A sign. Accept. A sign. Accept. A sign. Accept. A sign. Let's go. So many new guests. Oh, joy. And I think they're all going to leave some good reviews. I wonder why no one's using the giant bathroom. Uh-oh. Oh, this just means that it's not available right now, right? Okay, I was wondering what that sign meant. Oh, baby. Oh, baby. We're going to have so many new guests there. All right, we got to go talk to Barbara, too. I forgot. Barbara. You're making your way all over the place, aren't you? My, I barely got here, and you're right on track. That's right, old lady. You better watch your back, or I might build you a bedroom. <laughs> you seem to have made it to the little concrete island. Are you being oasis worse than the desert it's saving you from? This place used to host all sorts of people, but mostly those without a lot of time on their hands. One of them a sailor. A captain, I should say. A father to three, three strong boys. He had a lot of unexpected stops to make. Some would say his work was hectic, hostage to the wishes of the sea. He would make the stop so often that he'd have a regular room all to himself. One could wonder, perhaps, why his room would also come with regular guests all to himself. I tried swimming once. It went poorly. <laughs> I burped a little, my bad. I suppose when the frost of the sea follows you, even ashore, you curl up to any ember you can find. He kept the books on all maritime travel. He even showed it to me once. It was his pride and joy. The schedule, like clockwork, the coordinates, the ships, their names, was so fascinating that I couldn't help myself and stashed it under a wardrobe. And he never saw it again, and neither did I. I came back here with a blind hope that the chaos spared this little book. But there was nothing but rubble and dust. Not even a standing wardrobe to look under. If you happen to come across an old leathered book, do an old lady a favor, would you? Found it. Oh, my, is that what I think it is? No, it isn't. No. Oh, that's actually, okay. <laughs> you know, I never used to see any animals like you just roaming around. We were lucky to hear birds. Now all you all seem to be running the place. Not that I'm complaining, you're probably more qualified anyway. And you do seem like you're getting things back into shape. This road used to be full of cars and buses, people chasing each other's problems. Or sometimes their own, but rarely. You never had time to look after yourself. Oh, there I go again, blabbering to a bear. Blabbering, blabbering. <laughs> If only you could blabber back and keep an old lady company. I seem to have fallen out of practice with that. Keeping company. But I'm not here to throw a pity party. There's hardly enough booze for that. Thank you. Now if you'll excuse me, I have a long walk ahead of me. Bye, Barbara. Fun times. And we keep accidentally completing the quest before even realizing they're there. Fancy meeting you here, mister. I figured something must have gone down south. Too many folk out of nowhere. A damn shark's got people coming in droves. I have to go keep an eye out on the dam near the lake. So the barrier up to High Lake is open. If you make your way up there, look me up. I know the place inside and out. All right. New place. Let's do it. New route unlocked toward High Lake Dark Grove. Cool. We gotta go see how things are doing in Timber Crossing anyway. Looking for that five star review. Oh, don't forget the valuables though. Very important. If anything happens to Bar Barbara, I will burn the world. Reasonable response. She is precious, and we must must preserve her. Among the most unnecessary of bus rides, but 
It's there. I'm going to take it. Oh, we need an oil wall lamp for, the, for room three here, don't we? For sure. We also need to accept a guest request here. Looking for somebody that wants 10 comfort and 15 decor. I guess that's going to be you, Poppy May. You got a fun name. And then 10 and 9, which I guess Beatrix can do that. And bedroom 2 is a little lacking, unfortunately. Going to find some more decoration. Let's go get that oil wall lamp real quick, though. Where are you at? You have returned. Fuslo da! It's the 18 months. Welcome back in. It's adorable. I'm loving it. I'll slap that on there real quick. Right on the side here. Nice. Looking good. Let's hit the waypoint. I feel like we got a five star review coming on Timber. I don't need to worry about it. Oh, hold on. Thank you for the bear hugs. Welcome back in. Appreciate the resub. Hi, Lake. A medium length hike complete. That's a cute reference, too. Well, I never. Look who waddled their way up the windy road. Nice sentence, Sabine. I would call it more of a wobble. Welcome to High Lake. Now, I'm not going to insult your intelligence. Oh, there's zero chance of that. By explaining why it's called that. But this used to be the prettiest place to spend a summer in. The soft wave of the trees and the wind, the calmness of the water. No wonder the captain built his vacation house here. I remember it had the most amazing garden. You could see it from the dam. Obviously, you weren't allowed anywhere near the place. You should check it out. It's just up the dirt road. I'm sure there's some fruit or something you can eat along the way. That is your main occupation, right? Eating fruit? I would never limit myself to just fruit. I'm going over the dam to my outpost. I'll see you around. All right. Well, this is the only human that I believe Hank has been able to talk to up to this point, Zen. That's only because Sabine has been around bears so much that she's learned their language, you know, which is a thing that happens sometimes with park rangers. Ooh, goodies. Nice. Ooh, yeah. Bus stop. Let's go. Excellent. There was a bus driver, but he couldn't understand us. Apple, an ingredient. Oh, here we go, dude. Now we're talking. Teach me the ways of the bear chef. Look at Yogi Bear and Ranger Smith. Okay, I guess there's precedent. Fair enough. No available instructions. Okay. Crafting table. Very nice. More ingredients. No blueprints available. Oh, there's the... There's the shark. Hey, buddy. No, Ma, I'm at work. Yes, Ma, I got the package you sent me. No, Ma, when am I going to eat that many sausages? Listen, Ma, I gotta go. I'm working. Yes, Ma, I love you too. Not him yet, apparently. Find someone who can help you in High Lake, the mission says. Okay. Probably this guy. Yo, Kino! Thanks for the raid. Appreciate it. Welcome, everybody. 
between some bear and breakfast. No, this is the last time. You are not taking anything from the garden. Please, there's barely anything left, and the potatoes aren't even in season. Uh, I, I didn't mean to barge. Oh, you didn't? Well, you did anyway. I'm sorry. He looks so sad. Oh, no, um, I didn't mean to come off that way. I'm sorry, you'll just have to look for food somewhere else. Hey, I never, I'll never say no to a warm, glistening potato. But that's not why I'm here. Oh, of course, that was so stupid of me to assume. That's not even close to stupid, I'll tell you what. I'm Hank. I live in the thicket with my mom and two best buds. It's nice to meet you, Hank. I'm Julia. I don't get a lot of visitors. Well, I do, but they usually don't take... They don't, they don't talk, they just take. They take talk. Talk. Take potato. Tater talk. I don't have a lot left to give up. I'm not here to take anything. The opposite, actually. Always caught by surprise, Julia the goat was the only remaining resident in this huge estate. She seemed very invested in her vegetable garden, but the rest of the property didn't concern her as much. The intense aroma coming from her house signaled a knack for cooking, a hunch reinforced by Hank's rumbling tummy. I was wondering if this old house was occupied. I think it could use a fresh coat of paint. Well, it used to be. I guess not anymore. No one's been inside the old captain's shack in ages. You mind if I take a look? No, but only if you don't mind not going anywhere near my garden. Fair enough. Thank you, Kino, again. Appreciate it. Welcome, everybody. Doing some bear and breakfast today. It's a game about a bear running a bear, a bed and breakfast. Bear and breakfast. It's pretty great. Gotta find a way to repair the farmhouse. I suppose following the waypoint might get us there. Ooh. All kinds of junk. Yeah. Oh, I'm gonna be rich. Okay, now we talk to the shark. Give me the goods. I know we're gonna have to do this anyway, so might as well do it now. Thank you. So many precious valuables. Oh, look at all those valuables. Gimme. Two doors. Fancy. Nice. Up to over a hundred again. God damn. Second floor? Oh my god, I didn't even notice. Yo, fancy as hell. All right. Seven guests have arrived. Three have completed their stay. 894 coins gained. Very nice. You can't pay your debt from the grave, but your children can! Hello, voice box person. I'm ready to get my hands dirty again. Be part of the next exciting experience. Enticing escape. Electro hey, we've been through this already. Aren't you the same shark? Individualism does not make the cogs turn faster. Jesus fucking Christ, dude. This is, this is, some of these lines are like... <laughs> okay. I think there's a bag missing its wind somewhere. <laughs> Welcome to High Lake. The Amber Jewel, the pride of the valley, the Great Depression. And we're talking sunken landforms, not your reasons for staying in bed. Jesus. Someone's in a mood. The Golden Plateau, in geological terms, of course. Not your late teens. All right, now. The captain's estate is a perfect destination for a premium development. The quaint, family-centric farmhouse is ideal for hosting dozens of loud, unfamiliar strangers. <laughs> As always, a regrettable minimum standard is required to open this location. This writing is fucking phenomenal, dude. Welcome to the High Lake Farmhouse. Would you like to repair it? Yep. Step one, clear out the debris and garbage. Done. Yep. Gather construction materials needed. Done. Yep. Get your butt to work. Pretty. The 
Nice real. Thanks for the five months. Welcome back. Appreciate it. Bear hugs. Thank you for the support. Now accepting trade-ins for high definition electronics. I wonder if that's actually a thing. So what's next? Humankind has fought many arduous battles. None more impressive than the one against nature itself. A solid roof over our heads and a dry floor to sleep on have become the preferred way of life for many. And the reward for that victory? The opportunity to profit from taking all of it away. <laughs> Jesus fucking Christ, dude. Anybody order some wokeness with their barren breakfast game? Holy shit. I'm learning so much. This area supports the development of outdoor facilities. An open air, untamed, raw experience. At the mercy of dangerous creatures and savage beasts. I do get pretty grumpy in the morning. Closed off in a small area with a fence and a gate, of course. Of course. As you know, patron health and safety are our main concern. So any outdoor expansions need to be certified by a forestry specialist. Failing to do so will deprive your more adventurous guests from the true experience of paying extra to sit outside. Hey, I think I know someone like that. Hessian, thank you for the sub. Welcome to the pile, bear hugs, appreciate it. Thank you for the support. Oh, this looks so much better already, my God. All right. Let's go talk to, uh, I already forgot her name. Julia, I think? Something like that. Yo, a chest! Oh, tell me we can ride a boat around at some point. Chamomile tea and spicy linden tea. Nice. The pile grows ever girthier, indeed. Wouldn't have it any other way. Oh, she's not here. I thought she was up there. Look at the garden, so nice. Don't you take anything, Hank. I know it's tempting. Oh yeah, there we go. Some mint. Nice. Anything new upstairs? No, nah, it's just another empty space, but hey, it's fun to have, right? Up and downstairs. Hello. More goodies. There's a lot of water. Hey, Barbara. Some days you wake up just to smell the coffee. Here, here. Although the cold brew doesn't give off nearly as strong of an aroma. Hey, Sabine. Hey, big guy, what you up to? Oh, you know, looking for berries, refurbishing old houses. Just bear stuff. Well, I ain't got much you could work on here. Except maybe the old broadcast station up north. But no one's got any use for that anymore. Actually, I had a thing I needed your help with. Oh, shoot, I ain't good at skimming plaster, but I can tell you which mushrooms will make you feel funny. Well, that's... I'm just gonna go ahead and make a note of that for later. Well, we're trying to give folks a more, uh, outdoorsy experience. And apparently rolling in grass until the ground smells like you isn't part of that. So I'm a little lost. Well, most people don't mind a little dirt on their butt or smoke in their face. But in limited controlled quantities. Tell you what, if you clear out a bit of space for a camping spot, I can get you some basic things to get you started. How about it? Alright. Waving bear sculpture. You better fucking believe we're rebuilding that. It's the bear from the clip. Ah! I've seen it. You've seen it. We've all seen it. That's very good. Especially right by the road. Yeah, that, that it's fantastic. I love that. Only who can prevent forest fires? Doctor Who? That, that seems limited. Like, we're going to have to rely on him for all of them? Be in trouble, dude. In California alone. I mean, I guess if anybody, right? The, the dude that can time travel, he seems like a pretty good candidate.
This music's so delightful. Really liking it. Billboard? Huh. Sure. A monument to capitalism reveals itself before you. I get it. God. Let me have fun. Fuck. <laughs> it's been cute, but take it easy every now and then. What you're doing is sinful. All right. I'm still going to do it, though. It's fun. This looks like a big old satellite dish. I get to power that eventually. Mm-hmm. Second location? This looks like it might be the, uh... The food place. That could be fun. Do you have a C-band license to operate that dish? I'm sure we'll get one. I'm sure they'll do it by the book. Just gotta find the guy... Dishing them out. Right? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. More junk. Okay, lots of goodies. Lots of goodies. What's this? It's a winterberry. Oh, I gotta go there, dude. That sounds like fun. Yeah, this place is really big, isn't it? I believe this is the first place we've seen ingredients, too. Oh, shit. Hold on. What was that? Old antenna dish. Used to communicate across great distances. Cool. I'm sure that'll be useful later. Hey, all right, Menefe. Nice. I hope this gets cartoons. He's... He's my spirit animal. This, this Hank. I don't get back over there. I have to go all the way down again? Looks like it. Alright. Yeah, this place is huge. Goodness. Man, the sound design is really well done in this game. So just like I heard some weird animal noise that sounded like it was really far behind me. And then, of course, we've been having the train that's been coming through in timber. That has deceived many of us already into thinking it's one actually passing by our houses. Yeah, that sound. That was, like, really well done. Is that a moose? Or an elk? That sounds right. Julia. Or Janet, or whatever your name is. Oh, it is Julia, yeah. Wow, that house never looks so clean. Is that the fresh coat of paint? Yeah. That's amazing. I've never seen it sparkle like that. What is this place, anyway? I'm still not sure you're not here for my potatoes. But if you really mean it, this is the captain's estate. And that old pile of rust and mold is the farmhouse. Well, significantly less rusty and moldy now. It used to be the biggest private property in the valley. The lady captain and little captain kids would spend every summer here, although he was never with them. He spent most of his time up the hill in the big radio dish building. What made you come up such a long way from home? I met a shark that asked me for help to get humans to come back. If you're here to rob me, you don't have to put on a show. No, I mean it. There's people all over the place now. 
In fact, I think I could help rebuild the farmhouse and get people to stay there again. Listen, Hank, I've got a rug in my house that lies less than you. <sighs> okay. Wait, I mean it. I'm sure your dolphin friend is waiting. He's a shark. Well, okay, you've convinced me. Really? No. Okay, I can prove that I'm not here to steal. Isn't there anything you need? I could go get it for you. I'm pretty great at that. If it means you'll leave. I won't come back without it. All right, there's a kind of plant that doesn't grow in High Lake. It's called sage. I used it in my teas and peach juice. It doesn't grow in the light, so you won't find it outside the thicker woods. I suggest you look west of sawdust, but you shouldn't step foot beyond that barrier. If you had any sense. We certainly don't have to worry about that. I was certain I would have already accidentally found Sage. Hey, Nine, welcome. Good to have you back. She is, uh, I'm, I don't know, man. I, I'm, I'm trying to, I'm trying to see it from her perspective if people just keep showing up and taking her potatoes. She's got this nice garden out here all to herself. She's trying to protect it. I get it. I get it. Go to Dark Grove and find Sage for Julia, but first... Welcome to the High Lake Camp. Would you like to repair it? Yep. Step one, it looks like the worksite's good to go. Step two, gather construction materials needed to repair the site. In this case, plywood planks, stone bricks, copper plates. Done. Yep. The site will be repaired shortly. Nice. All right. That was easy. Let's head to Dark Grove. Kind of want to check into my uh, properties too, see if there's any available bedrooms or mushrooms. Is there a reason to store your inventory? Not as far as I can tell so far. You seem to uh, be able to store as many materials as you want. I think really the only issue with inventory would be if you have a bunch of like decorative stuff and furniture. And then maybe you want to store some of that. All right, I believe we got this thing available. Job's complete. This greatly benefits this location. Guests will now have higher expectations. Trail mix. Awesome. Cool. All right. We got a new one. But first, I want to see the trail mix. Where is it? Collectibles. Is that in uh, this one? Yeah. Fruit, nuts, and granola to keep you moving swiftly. Increases speed by 50%. Yo! I'm flying now. Let's go. Further improvements available. You must now successfully complete the following task. To level two bedrooms in Timber Crossing. Okay. Yeah, I can do that. I suppose all we really got to do for that is just replace the beds, right? Really replace everything, I guess. Let's do it. Let's see. So they're staying in this one. Let's improve this bedroom and then... We'll maybe make another bedroom down here in the corner, too, actually. Yeah, it seems like a good idea. Put the jukebox down in that corner. And then let's add this back to the inventory. Same with you. Well, you can stay there, I guess, actually. We got a craft. Rustic Delight bed. Let's go ahead and make two of those. Two vanities. Two footrests. There we go. And build a new bedroom. Right there. That'll work. And I want it right there. No, I want it right there. i am got to move that window in there. Probably put it like right above the bed, maybe. Something like this. Something like that. And something like this. Looking pretty familiar, but it'll, it'll work. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. 
Am I putting this face in the wrong way? I think I have been. Yeah, I can't really tell. Oh well. And there's not really room for the vanity if I've got that thing there, huh? I could do this. Move this out of the way, do something like that. These are tiny rooms. That is two level twos though, right? I think. Does it not count as a level two bedroom now? I thought it would. Oh, I gotta build this. There we go. Sweet. Easy. Let's get some uh, new residents for our new room, shall we? Oh yeah, those are looking nice. 16 comfort, 12 decor. Oh, no guest requests here though, damn. Oh well. We'll have to wait a little bit, I guess. Where's Dark Grove? She said west of Sawdust, right? Although I think she also said not to go that way. Alright. 200 coins. Awesome. I'm loaded now. I got a lot of valuables again, too. Hell yeah. How many prisons have you built now? Just the two prisons, but plenty of cells now, at least. Okay, this is over to... Oh, that's the sawdust. Okay. Let's see if we can go west from here. God, it's already so nice to be moving so much faster. Thank you for that. Thank you for that, game. They're not actual prisons. They're just financial prisons. Hey, there we go, right? Whatever we need to tell ourselves, I guess. Oh, that's just a big door. I didn't even notice that. Prof Kittimus! Thanks for the gifted sub. Welcome to the bear pile. Welcome on into the pile. Thanks for the bear hugs. Appreciate the support. Take it. All right. I guess we're just heading this way, right? Looks right. Gotta get all the goodies. Don't want to run out of stuff. All right, this is walled off still. Oh, never mind. Gate's open. Nice. Dark Grove. Speaking of spooky. Sage? Herbs. Mushrooms. Charcoal lilies. Okay. Four guests have completed their stay. We got new requests. Gained a thousand gold. Very nice. Oh, maybe that. There it is. Ten sage. Nice. Easy. Let's keep looking around out here. I'm sure it'll be handy to have this stuff later. This is definitely the creepiest location so far. But even still, it's got a little bit of a pleasant vibe to it with like the, the bird tweeting and, oh, hold on. Ah, I still need prospector's gear for that, okay. It's not so bad. What time is it? Oh, it's morning. Okay, that makes it a little creepier. It is Dark Grove, I suppose, isn't it? Oh, hey, dude. You again. I think we got off on the wrong foot. And now I used up both. I never meant to uh, say nice things about you. Yeah, well, you can't just do that to people. You could ruin someone's day. But you said pleasant things about me, too. I think. Well, that's different. It wasn't about me. What are you doing here, anyway? Are you following me around? No one comes to Dark Grove. Thought I'd start my day off right with a little self-terror. Beats washing your face with water. Finally, you make some sense. What are you up to? In case I've accidentally given you the impression that I'm a space scientist or something, I like to scavenge. It's what I do. 
I get into every nook and cranny and fish out the little artifacts the universe forgot about. Now no one stepped foot in Dark Grove in years. And this tower here is old, like really old. You can tell by the fact that there's an, there isn't a tower anymore. But that didn't stop humans from using it anyway. At least until they up and left, tearing everything down behind them. So like a nerd in a board game shop, I dive right in, getting my little trinket fix. No one can tell me not to. I wouldn't dream of it. Is that how you got your jacket? Oh yes, my little green jacket. I found it in the White House up the mountain. I roll around in the garbage dump once a week to keep it fresh. Ugh. Well, I really like it. It's a nice jacket. Ah, yeah, this old thing, it's actually gotten pretty musty. I can't get the mud smell out of it. I should probably change it soon. You don't say. Hey, pagan has been slim in the old grub department. You wouldn't happen to have anything to gnaw on, would you? I could go make you something. Boy, I'd kill for an egg dippy. In fact, I'm pretty sure I have. <laughs> okay, later. Fun note to end the conversation on. It does feel like a skeleton could jump out of me at any time, doesn't it? Literally, yes, Balkan. Yeah, the, the humans apparently were not concerned about the bear. They were more concerned about the bear not wearing pants. And now that we've fixed that problem, everybody's fine with us. So it's pretty great. Things are going well. And apparently Gus is a murderer, right? Yeah, it's, you know, things are going well, relatively speaking. Yeah, I'd also like to know what an egg drippy is. Oh, apparently I already did the thing that he needed me to do. Oh, never mind. A little bready stick dipped inside a creamy egg would really hit the spot right about now. Oh, that's what that is, apparently. Why does it say that I need to go to him? Hmm. Bag of seeds. That's probably important. All right. Cook one egg dippy for Gus. Let's figure out how to do that. Items you might have lost. Oh, thanks. Didn't even realize that was a thing. That's a good system. It's a soft-boiled egg in soldiers, as we call them here in the UK. Toast cut into strips to dip into the egg yolk. Huh. I could get into that. I could give that a try. What am I doing? I'm getting caught down here. Too many goodies. Yeah, I don't have the thing for that, right? Yep. Yeah, once we find out how to get some prospector's gear, we're going to be in business, dude. Going to open up all the paths. Let's go ahead and take a bus back to High Lake. Just about any combo of egg and toast is goaded. It's not bad, yeah. Can't really go wrong with it. We'll get some decor going eventually here. Oh, uh, hello again. I'll be honest, I wasn't expecting you back. Did you find any sage? Yep, got it right here. What? You really got some? Oh my, it really is! So musty and crisp! Did you really go all the way there to Dark Grove? Piece of cake! See, bears don't have to worry about underwear. Listen, if you're serious about getting this place back on its feet, I think I can help. The captain's family ate all sorts of food. They'd grow it in the garden and cook it down into flavors you never even dreamt of. Sweet, sour, buttery, earthy, smoky, tangy. These are all descriptors for food. I didn't know I could taste words before. And well, I know for a fact your humans are going to want some, so I can teach you how to do that, if you'd like to stick around. I would love to. Great. I mean, I'm happy to hear that. You can help yourself from the garden. Things grow pretty fast in there, so help yourself. Wow. She really 
changed her tune pretty quick on that. All right. I guess I couldn't get in there before. Thanks, Julia. Now, the captain had a big table the whole family would sit around. Little diner stool, little dinner stool recipe, small plywood table, tiny buffet. You should probably give folks some room to eat. Dining rooms are rooms where your guests can consume meals. Craft and place a serving table, a table, and a chair to make it functional and give a food score. Meals added in the serving table will give out their food score to guests. Guests will consume these meals, usually three times a day. Each dining room will affect an entire building, so resorts with multiple buildings will require multiple dining rooms. Okay. Well, I'm glad that they affect the entire building. Raw ingredients will not award food score, only cooked meals will. Lower level serving tables have fewer slots available to fit meals, while higher level serving tables will have more meal slots. Okay. That seems doable. Build a functional dining room. Let's do it. Oh, that's that one, whoops. Where's this crafting table? Not this, right? What am I missing? I feel blind. Oh, <laughs> he was rapping. My bad, dude. Do your thing. You gotta select the building from the same crafting table. Oh, thank you, Grim. Okay. Oh. Wait. Oh, here we go. Oh, fun. Okay. Neat. Doing food. Dining room. Here we go. We'll put this right in the corner. Give it a nice four by three, five by three, five by three. Oh, we need to make the stuff first. I always forget. Yeah, I wish you could just save the blueprint. That'd be nice. Let's make the tiny buffet, small plywood table, and a little dinner stool. Probably make two of those, right? Two of each. There we go. And then a table there. A table there. Oh wait, that's a stool. Silly bear. That's a chair. And then like this? Oh. Okay. Not fully what I expected. Oh, do I have to I have to put these and assign them to the table? Okay, interesting. I wonder if they can fit. They don't fit there, so I'm gonna have to move move these guys up. Okay, hold on, you get out of the way real quick. And move this up like that. And then have space for this guy, although I need more than that, doesn't it? You get back in there. And do like this, I guess? Because it's as good as it's gonna get. Need way more stools. Oh, that's not gonna fit there either, damn. How about like that? Nope, shit. Well, making it bigger. Gotta let everybody eat. Will it fit right there? No. I think that'll do everything. There we go. Then I'm pretty sure, unfortunately, you can only have the one there, but honestly, that's fine. It'll look kind of janky, but I'll, I'll take it. And then a tiny buffet. Right there in the corner. Cool. That'll work. Make a few more chairs real quick. 
Little dinner stool. Whip up five of those. Boom. 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 Ah, it doesn't fit. Damn it. Eh, good enough. I'll take it. Dining room constructed. Now we need to make a kitchen. So I can make that egg dippy. I wonder what I need for a kitchen. I wonder if I have this stuff in the kitchen yet. Maybe I need to wait till I make progress in this quest. Let's go get some ingredients from the farm too. Might as well. Tomatoes. Onions. Now when she said help herself, I don't know if she realized that what I interpreted that as is go take literally everything from the farm. My inventory's full. Oh shit. This is the first time this has happened. Time to stash some stuff, I guess. Let's do the lilies. Can I just right click? No, apparently not. Maybe control click or something? Alt click? No. Right click? No. Damn. Right, store that. Store that. Store that. That'll work for now. More stuff, please. And taters. Delicious. All right. Ready to make anything. So how about that dining room? It's ready. I can't believe you're going through all this trouble. I'm... I'm sorry, I've been by myself for a long time. There's barely a soul that passes through here these days. Except the ones who make a fuss at night, I guess. But I don't have the guts to confront them. That sounds terrifying. Anyway, you've got everything you need to start making some delicious food. Oh, except, like, the one important bit. Somewhere to cook it all. Now, I did my best with what I had in the guest house, but I'm pretty proud of my little kitchen. It switches wholesale. Cast iron stove recipe. Puny cutting board. I expect you to make your own. Kitchens are rooms where you can cook meals. They require either a cutting board, cooker, griddle, or microwave. Not all objects are required. Kitchen objects are noisy and smell funny, which means they carry a negative decoration score. Guests will not interact with kitchens. However, kitchens will apply the neg negative decoration score in an area of effect around them. This debuff will affect any bedrooms built next to kitchens, as well as the overall prestige score of that resort. Place plenty of decoration items to offset the negative effects of kitchen objects. You can see the debuff area by clicking on the room while in build mode. Make it a fancy-ass kitchen. Okay, can do. Yeah, that all checks out. That's all logical. Let's get some decorative stuff then, real quick. Let's see here. I'll probably go for another wall lamp. I think I'll pick up a painting or two. I'll go with the uh, rounded landscape. I'll get a couple of those. I'll go with a small snake plant. I'll uh, get a couple of shelves. Oh, I'm full on inventory again. Jeez. All right, let's build this sucker. Oh, that means we got to stash a couple more things too, huh? Uh, I don't have any use for fuel yet, I don't think. Although I feel like I'm about to change my mind on that. Given what we're about to try to do here. Eh, it's probably good enough for now. First of all, craft the stove. Make the cutting board. There we go. And then build the kitchen. We could build the kitchen upstairs. I wonder if its proximity to the dining room is at all, like, relevant. So I feel like if we built it upstairs, we could build it away from everybody. But then again, it just makes more sense to have it be 
next to the dining room. It's got to be three by three. So let's just do something like this. It's probably good enough. And where is... There's the stove. And cutting board. Where's that? I'm going to organize this inventory. Oh, there we go. Thank you. I don't know if I made a cutting board. I don't think it actually made it. I think, yeah, my inventory was full when I tried to make it. God damn it. I got to make a spot for my inventory. I guess I can make that and then I can now create the craft or create the cutting board, right? There we go. There we go. Cool. Good enough. All right, yeah, we gotta decorate it though. Gotta make it fancy. Plus that'll clear out some of the stuff. Uh, furniture, there we go. Painting above the cutting board. Painting on the outside too. Because I really love that painting. Little snake plant, little oil wall lamp. That seems safe. Cool. All right, yeah, we need recipes. There we go, kitchen constructed. You already got more corn? Oh my god. You weren't kidding about this stuff growing fast. Did you manage to get a kitchen up and running? Yep. Well, what are you waiting for? Time to give it its maiden voyage. I haven't exactly won any cooking competitions out there. Oh, nonsense. You're a natural. I can smell it on you. The smell is definitely all natural. Look, here's some basics to get you started. I'm sure not everyone's going to be picky from the get-go. Grab some taters from the garden and some mint next to the lake. And give your new kitchen a spin. Welcome to cooking. Your goal is to follow recipes by matching ingredient items with cooking method cards. Interact with any placed cooking object to bring up the cooking screen. Any object in a kitchen will bring up the same interface. You have to learn at least one recipe before you're able to access cooking. Each cooking object will place in the, you place in the kitchen will give access to cooking cards in the interface. Higher level cooking objects will yield new cards and a larger number of overall cards. Different recipes require different cooking method cards which can hold ingredients. Step by step, go to the recipe book and pick a recipe, then pick the appropriate cards from your deck. Put down the card in the cooking slot. Place the ingredient from your inventory into the cooking slot that has a card. Some cards require fuel to function, so make sure, of course, you have your fuel in an empty slot. Place fuel in the occupied fuel, fuel slot from your inventory. Press the cook button and wait for your food to be ready. The more objects you place, the more cards you gain access to. I feel like I'm going to learn a lot better with this if I have, like, a visual for it. Okay. Select a recipe. We got mint tea. So we're going to need fuel. Go like this. We're going to need mint. Wait. Okay. Yeah, no, that, that all was very confusing. <laughs> this is not 100% clear here, so hold on. So the fuel, we need wood, which we have wood. Where's the wood, though? Where's the wood from my inventory? Is that somewhere else? Hmm. Well, we're boiling the mint, so we do this and then this, right? We gotta split that stack. There we go. I guess we don't really need to do all of it, do we? Let's use one in each. There we go. I'm not sure how to access the wood. Oh, it needs two in those. Okay, gotcha. Oh, so I guess I just need the one boil then, right? There's the wood. 
I swear this wasn't showing up before. Okay, anyway. Just two planks. Why is that not saying it's got wood, though? It has to be the fuel type, not planks. Oh, so... Oh, okay, so I stored the fuel, though. Right, all right, so I gotta go get the fuel. Okay, I thought you were saying I stored the wood. But I stored this particular wood. Which I thought said fuel, but in fact says wood. Right, okay, got it. Understood. What a bop, dude. All right, mint tea. Two wood. Boil mint. There we go. Figured it out. As I chug my coffee, we have sent our kitchen on its maiden voyage. Mint tea. Perfect for any occasion. Let's make some mashed potatoes. Two wood. Oh, yeah, we gotta go maintain our uh, properties soon here, too. Taters. Boil, cook it up. Good thing it's payday because it's time to spend some money on a game. I recommend checking this out. This has been very good so far. Basic but comforting, yep. Accurate. Oh, we need to make one more of each. Okay then. Do, 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 do. Boil that. Use that. Mm hmm. Mint tea. Oh, do I have to wait? Okay. Oh, you have to loot them. Got it. That's what it is. There we go. Thank you. I'm going to take the bus back to our, uh, well, I guess I might as well go ahead and knock out the next step here while I'm, while I'm in this loop with Julia. Well, you certainly did something, but it's better than my first try. All right, you better go serve it before it gets cold. Julia's Recipes. Put the food in the serving table and make sure you close the lid. Got it. Mashed taters. Mint tea. Where's my mint tea? Take all. Oh, wait, no. Just close, right? There we go. No sweat. Julia. Oh, she's right down there. Did you serve the food? Yep. Well, congrats, Hank. You just cooked your first batch of food for someone else. And that's nothing to sneeze at. Literally, don't sneeze on it. Now, you better make sure there's always food in there for folks to eat. You can make the same stuff, sure, but you'll run out of ingredients quick. You better learn how to cook more stuff than mash and tea. I got plenty of recipes from the captain's cookbook. Come by my little booth sometime. I could always use the coin. Will do. Let me go up there and buy your entire stock. Yep. Strawberry bowl, corn on the cob, boiled egg, mushroom soup, tomato soup, chamomile teal. These, these, these are just some of the things that I intend to learn how to make. Once I have the inventory space required to purchase them. Chamomile tea, tomato soup, mushroom soup. Learn, learn, learn. 
corn flakes, roasted potato, egg dippy. There it is. And the apple bowl. All right. Thank you. Now we head back. Although I suppose we could actually like build some bedrooms and stuff here too, couldn't we? Maybe I should go ahead and do that. We can make the egg dippy real quick too for Gus. Assuming we have the right stuff. Eggs, bread, wood. I think we got that. Do we have bread? I think we need to make bread. Can we make bread? I don't know how to make bread. Do we have bread? We don't have bread. Huh. All right. I guess we gotta find bread. I'm gonna come back to build. I'm gonna take the bus to A24 real quick. Make sure we're managing this place properly. Also probably get some junk. Some valuables, maybe. Zero active guests. Let's fix that. 16 and 12. Nine hygiene. Their comfort levels. They have some, uh... Really... High levels of demand here. Let's see. Let's put you in here. Man, yeah, we need to increase the comfort. Big time. Can we do that? I don't know if we even have a way to make that happen. These rooms in particular, I'm pretty sure, are uh, at our limit. Maybe Pond Voyage has better stuff now. Small refrigerator. Well, might as well get that. Okay. Hmm. Yeah, I'm pretty sure I don't really have anything uh, to increase the comfort right now. I might just have to let those guests pass. Yeah, I don't think there's going to be uh, anybody that we can take anymore. I guess this guy. Yeah, you can stay. Here you go, buddy. And you too, right? And the hygiene, though. I don't want to get anything less than perfect reviews, man. Gotta give this 4.9 to a 5, even though that's probably impossible at this point. Um, alright, well. Guess that's that for now. Can't increase the hygiene either, right? Yeah, I think we just need to make progress on some quests. So let's see. I think we need to go back to High Lake and then go talk to Sabine. Let's do that. Oh, fuel. Nice. Good stuff. Non-perfect reviewers get fed to the bear. Okay. That's an option. We'll keep that on the table for now. Just like the bear's meals. I mean, who am I kidding? He's a bear. He doesn't need a table. How about it? You got a campground ready to go? Yes, ma'am. Good going. I'm almost done. I'm just missing a bit of fuel and I left my canister behind. Can you fetch me some while I finish up? Sure can. Got it right here. All right, good. Now, the key to a great camping spot is to make it feel like the greatest waiting room in the world. It should be relaxing and quiet, but just temporary enough. So that you don't overstay your welcome. I mean, you don't have to worry about that. Nice. S'more station. Sitting log. Small campfire. The campfire is a type of special room that can only be built in certain areas outside. It's perfect for the more adventurous guests who prefer a moonlight wiener over an open flame. This is fun. I didn't even notice this before. It requires a fire, a seating object, and a dispenser to be functional. It can only be built in specially designated outdoor areas. Some guests specifically look for campfires during their stay. 
Well, let's give him one. Gotta make this stuff first again. Three slots. Just enough. Where was it, though? Ah, oh, there it is. Sweet. Um, I don't know if I actually have to... Oh, there we go, yeah. Four by four. I just want to make it the whole damn thing. Can we do that? What about like this? Nope, too big. Like this? There we go. Whole damn thing. Beauty. And we'll do the door right there. Windows? That's weird. Yeah, I was going to say that probably doesn't work, right? Big ass s'more station sitting log in the middle. There we go. Got to build some more sitting logs. 38.50? Oh my god. Okay, maybe not that big. Maybe not so big. Maybe, maybe a little smaller. That's probably good. Cool. Doo -doo -doo. More uh, sitting logs. There we go. Oops. That looks nice. I like that. I think they want you to do multiple campfires like rooms. That makes sense, yeah. We can do another one here. I do like just having one giant one, though. It's kind of fun. Oh, I guess I need to build a front desk here eventually, too, huh? This month only, get a 2% coupon for our sister company, Flight or Freight. For all your package delivery and shipping needs. The only question we ask is cash or card. The camp is ready. Dear valued partner, here at Pond Voyage, we take steps every day to recognize and appreciate our most valuable associates for their commitment and contributions. You're cur you currently do not meet the criteria for recognition or appreciation. In fact, our metrics suggest your performance falls under our detestation level. However, your recent development into outdoors leisure for the outdoors leisure for this property has upgraded you to disregard. Congratulations! You are now one step closer toward achieving something in your life that is any semblance of value. There are many, many, many steps left. The next one, in fact, is meeting our criteria for a property in this location. What you should observe in order to be further entrusted with our guest's experience. Sweet. That we deeply care about. Hey, Mashup. Ooh, baby. Here we go. Now we're fucking talking, dude. Level three bedroom stuff. Cozy butterscotch bed, lovely lavender bed. Kind of wishing I hadn't spent all that money on that fireplace all of a sudden. Hold on, I'm gonna go get a quick refund here. <laughs> Need some cash. Uh huh. Um, how do I do this again? There we go. There it is. All right. Rebuild this real quick. Just make it nice and small. Start in the corner here. That'll work. S'more station up in the corner there. And a little campfire. That's cute. Ah oh, man. Okay, hold on. There we go. Oh. There it is. Damn it. Ah. That's good enough. I'll take it. Alright. 
Very little inventory space still, so gotta be careful there. Doo -doo -doo. Modest toilet, simple bathtub, and a basic bathroom sink. Nice. Small buffet, sturdy oak table, and a rounded chair. Hell yeah. Moving up in the world, dude. Now. I think I might go back to A24 and upgrade some stuff. That way we can actually get some guests staying there again and get some money going. That would indeed be funny, wouldn't it, J-Rod? Yeah, I'll keep that in the back of my mind for a future possibility. Although that would require me cooking again, wouldn't it? All right, here we go. Gotta get some, uh, some more floor lamps for this place. Well, I guess they wouldn't really fit very well, would they? I wonder if they would fit in there. Ooh, he's got all kinds of new stuff. Chunky rustic lamp. I don't know if I've ever described a lamp as chunky. Autumnal medium rug. Costs 80 valuables. Yikes. Toolbox terrarium. That's fun. Small bear carving. Gotta get one of those. Rustic end table. Let's get a few of those guys. Oh, I don't have any room. I gotta put some stuff away now, I guess. Yeah, this is the first time I've been running in into inventory problems. I guess I'll just store a bunch of my... Uh, my wood here. Oh, yeah, we got a lot of plywood. I'll put the extra stuff away, I guess. And then... Here, we'll put this tea away for now. That's pretty good. Yeah, that'll work for now. No, I don't think Timber Crossing has guests either, so once we take care of A24, we should probably go back there and fix that up. Let's see. How many spots we got now? Five. Let's do Happy Fish Plaque. Absolutely. This thing is 230. Oh, my God. Let's go with a couple of lamps. There's all our furniture. There we go. Got those end tables. Nice. Hey, an Adirondack? Adirondack end shelves. Fancy. All right. That'll do for now. Oh, wait, no. We need more lights. Well, we did get a couple of lamps, didn't we? Yeah, that'll work. Obviously, we're going to need a lot more, but that'll, that'll get us started at least. All right, new beds. Oh, that's just this. Okay, I see. All right, furniture. Let's go with the... Uh... Hold on, which is better here? Oh, that's just more decoration. That's just straight up an upgrade, I think. The lovely lavender. Let's do five of those. Let's do five elegant wardrobes. Oh my god, those are pricey. Comfy footrest. I'm out of pine wood, dude. Oh my god. Alright, well, there we go. That'll get us started, I guess. I don't know if crafting pulls from the stash... To be honest with you, couldn't tell you. All right, we're going to have to do some funky inventory management here. Go ahead and organize everything again real quick. Small bear carving. That's just going to go ahead and go right there, right? Right on the barrel. Perfect. That's absolutely where we need that. All right, so we're going to... Upgrade the luxury suite, first of all. There we go. That's what we need to do. 
Gotta make sure this, this thing's got all the nice stuff. I'm gonna go ahead and be moved down here for now. Lovely lavender bed. I did mean barrel, my bad. Although I guess it went without saying, didn't it? There we go. See, that one matches up pretty well. This rug, I don't know if this fits so well in here anymore, though. And again, I kind of like it like that. Let's see. We want an elegant wardrobe in here for sure. And a happy fish plaque, of course, right above the bed. That's where that goes. Put this away. Put this in there. Oh, beautiful, dude. This place is fancy as hell. Will this fit? Probably not. Huh. Okay. That kind of works. Can pretend it's hugging the wall there. Yeah, I like it. Not bad. All right. Well, luxury suites looking pretty good. Let's take a look at the other stuff. It's going to be hard to fit the big beds in these tiny rooms. I don't know if we're even going to be able to actually do that. Let me get at least two more inventory spots open. Put away some other stuff here. Maybe some food. Corn and apples. There we go. All right. Let's try to upgrade this particular room here. Organize stuff again. And go up there for a sec. See if this will even fit. That's not bad. Takes up the entire room. <laughs> it's probably an upgrade, though. And then maybe we can, like, throw a lamp in the corner somewhere. Yeah, that works. Sure. That's, that's tidy enough to function in my mind. There we go. Gonna need another lamp in a second. Oh, that's just the level two one, isn't it? Yeah, we want the other one. Do we have a level three? Oh, is the elegant wardrobe, which is obviously is not gonna fit in here. Unless I wanna do this, which is totally what I'm gonna do. It's just a big fucking bed. Just a real big bed. The footrest right there. Perfect. No, we got to keep that in the inventory. Got to put a lamp there. All right. This is working. Right there. Hold on to that for a second. Gorgeous. Well, I gotta flip that one around this time. I mean, they can they can reach it, right? They can get to the bed at least. All right, cool. Upgrades made. Let's go get some guests. Actually, we could probably use a few more decorative items, huh? We didn't really get a lot more, did we? really okay that's fine we'll see if it's good enough yet yeah looking a little better oh yeah look at bedroom seven all of a sudden super fancy oh we don't have any guest requests though damn all right well up to timber we'll see if maybe we got some guests we can get there Oh, it's just because it's nighttime, isn't it, actually? I think if I sleep, I'd find some guest requests there. Do, 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 do. Check the guests. Mm, yeah, I think I gotta sleep. Mm, 
No. Huh. New stay requests. There we go. Okay. So, best we got is like 1612. 16 comfort, 12 decor, which we can meet Elisha's needs with that, so that's good. Let's do that there. No, there. Yes. And then you go there. You go there. And you go there. Perfect. All right. Fill that in. Do, 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 do. Oh, we still have a five here, even though we have a four and a half. Interesting. All right, there we go. Now time to go take care of A24 again. So I'm pretty sure we'll have the guest request now. Beep, 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 do. I was gonna say, not a lot of valuables around. Guess we need to get more guests. Do, 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 do. Here we go. So, what can we accommodate? Get up, get up to 2524. So, yeah, we're happy to have Shauna. Or Shanna, I guess. Stay in the luxury suite. Very nice. I think actually everybody else is taken care of, right? If we go for Lewis, he's going to be able to stay in. Let's go with bedroom eight for you, buddy. Wallace is going to be happy here in. Well, actually, no, hold on, buddy. We can do you one better. We'll go ahead and put you guys in there. And then we're going to upgrade the comfort in these first three rooms a little bit so we can just go ahead and instantly swap these out with the rustic delight bed which is going to be a slight upgrade here oh it doesn't fit though damn what if we did this instead that's not bad we'll roll with that oh there's a mirror there right i forgot I'm gonna move this shelf real quick. You go. Yeah, you can stay there, that's fine. Works for me. You go back in storage, you go right there. Very nice. Do 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 do. Put this away, put this in there. Sweet! Easy enough. Move that shelf a little further down here. I'll go ahead and put a shelf in this one too, why not? Slightly more synchronized. And yeah, that'll do for now. I feel like I want to try to cram some other stuff in there, but... I mean, honestly... I know it's not as aesthetically pleasing, but we could just slot stuff in where it fits, you know? Like here, for example. I don't think they care too much. Bone Stealer! Thanks for the 13 months with Prime. Appreciate it. But we'll know, Bear. We'll know. Yeah, that's... All right. I just simply can't bring myself to do it. Thank you for the Bear Hugs. Thanks for the Risa. Appreciate it. That ought to do it right there. We go, yeah. Nice. Nearly filled in all the rooms there. Excellent. All right. Well, let's go back to the high lake. And start filling that in. Which means we need to go ahead and get ourselves a front desk. Let's do it. Do, do, do. Front desk recipe. I don't have any pine wood. Okay, so apparently it doesn't pull from your stash. It's interesting. Okay. 
There's our front desk. Plop that down. Where'd it go? Uh, did I even make it? I don't know if I've got space. Ah, boy. The inventory's starting to become a bit of a pain in the butt all of a sudden. Going from not a problem at all to kind of annoying. Why did that not just stack like that? Of course I want you to stack like that. Same there. Hit the organize button. You'd think that would do that. Now build this. Okay, I definitely built it that time. There it is. Cool. All right. Looking for food and hygiene. Okay. Quick peek here, first of all. This is adding three food. So I bet we can add something more to this dining room to get a higher food score. Check the crafting real quick. Perhaps a small refrigerator? Although I don't know if that actually adds to the food score. I think the only thing that might help it would be maybe this, no, that's just decoration. Small buffet, there we go, instead of tiny buffet. I think that'll do it. Let's try that. I'm just gonna put this there for now, just to make the spot. So that we can do this. And then, wait, what? Couldn't add item to inventory, why? What if I do this first? This is huge, holy shit, so much for a small buffet. Oh, it's got food in it. Okay, so I gotta take the food out. Which, of course, is gonna be another inventory problem. God damn it. Let's see. Here, put the quest items away for now. I guess. Okay, now... We can put this away. Place it with a small buffet, which we're going to need to move these things. So I think I'm just going to go ahead and just do one table here for now, too. Cannot add item to inventory. What? Why is that happening? Oh, you got to remove the chairs first. Okay. And the inventory's full again. Ah! I really miss when that wasn't a problem. I guess bus sign, sure, and then loggers tools, okay. Stash all the food, maybe, yeah, I guess so. For later. There we go. Maybe you'll unlock cargo pants with more inventory space, hopefully, yeah. Bigger pants is all we need. All right, we'll just replace those after we got the small buffet in there. Doo -doo. Where's the small buffet? Right there. This in this corner. Put the table up in there. Actually, no way. We were gonna do the other table, right? Uh, yeah, let's do it. I don't think the crafting will pull stuff from your stash. I think we've already determined that. Maybe the fridge would work as an ingredient container? Maybe. I feel like that's probably for the kitchen, though, and not for the, um... Yeah, that's a kitchen object, not a dining room object. Yay! Fancy. Crap. 
Right there. That's good. Eh, good enough. Yeah, I suppose better chairs is probably worth it, huh? Those are ugly. Not gonna cut it. Do, 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 do. There we go. Yeah, it looks pretty good. I'll take that. Now time to build some actual uh, bedrooms here. Let's go upstairs. And make some real nice stuff. Cute, comfy footrest. We'll start with three rooms here. Up oh, two rooms, I guess. Two rooms it is. Real nice ones, though. Oh, don't forget the bathroom, though. Oh, shit. Okay, hold on. Gotta make the bathroom stuff, too. Uh, this will be the fanciest bathroom we've had for a while, too. I think we might have gotten level three bathroom stuff. No, just level two. Do, do, do. Get this guy right in the middle. Reach the entire upstairs. Yeah, just a small one. That'll probably work. Modest toilet. Basic sink. And a tub. Cool. Doo, doo, doo. All right, that'll work. Bathroom constructed. How about something like that? Hmm. And then maybe even like this? Oh, Bear, you're crazy. That's a big fucking room, dude. But all right, if you say so. I'm on this ride with you, pal. Oh, fancy fucking windows? Let's go. Yes, sir. Right there. Right there. Absolutely. Delightful. Bed in the corner. Ah, oh, dude, I wanted that so bad. Oh, well. That's pretty good, too. I'll just put some fancy stuff in the corner over there. Finally, they learned to match those up. Elegant wardrobe over here? Oh, it should fit, man. It's got to fit over there. No, okay, fine. Right in the middle of the windows with the wardrobe. Oh, here we go. That's what's back there. That's what's back there. We found it. Nice. All right, we'll, we'll improve this guy as we go. But that's a fine start. Well hygienated. And that'll reach all the way down to rooms down here as well. Fantastic. Go ahead and s yeah, let's just build it adjacent to here, right? Yeah, that works. Room like that. That's pretty good. Lovely lavender bed down here. You know what? Directly underneath the window. And then you are just going to go, sorry to say. You're out of here. How do I delete it? How do, I, how do I get rid of this? I guess I could just put it over here. That's fine. And let's see. Elegant wardrobe. Uh, right there. Yeah, that's pretty good. Nice. All right. That'll work. Delightful. Good enough for now. Might as well build the room here. Upgrade the bed later. Can't build a room around stairs. 
So I bet I can do like this and then this, right? There we go. Oh, that ruins this door though, right? That makes sense. Yeah, let's just do this then. There we go. I'm sure that won't cause any problems. <laughs> Both of those doors, they, this one opens toward the other door, by the way. Same with the door on the left. Those both open toward each other. And that's the only way they open. It's perfect. All right, we'll put the fancy bed in here at some point, but we'll just go ahead and put this in here for now. Another cute, comfy foot rest. Small vanity table. Elegant wardrobe. Nice. All right. Done, done, done. I'm out of money. Oh, no, I'm not out of money. There are invalid objects present in this room. What are you talking about? Oh, this. Right. There we go. That's the stuff. Okay. Cool. Yay! That's got the hygiene, right? It should. Oops. Yeah, we're good. Awesome. All right, good start. Let's get some uh, people in these rooms. Oh, look at those scores. Look at those scores, dude. They don't have any food, though. It's probably because they don't have anything in the serving station, huh? That's what they need. You get mashed potatoes and mint tea. Get used to it. Because that's what we got. All right, I got to go get my food back. Hmm. I really wish there was a quick way to get stuff back. Instead of just having to do this. Let me click, 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 click. We'll serve some spicy linden and chamomile tea, too. Oh, filter by food and take all. Yeah, that's a smart way to do it. That's a real smart way to do it. Nope, just click and take all. No matter what the filter is, apparently takes everything. That sucks. Oh, well. Hmm. Oh, sort that back up. Yeah, get the potatoes. All right, there we go. Let's make some roasted potato. I don't have any butter. Okay, we can't make that. Apple bowl? I'll make an apple bowl. Sure. Raw apples. Done. Right? Let me just put apples in it. Raw apple. Um, don't do any of these. I don't know how to do that. Bottom left. Ah, thank you. Thank you. We'll do four apples. There we go. Mmm. Goodness. Nice. Okay. Curious if I can make cornflakes. Nah, I need milk. Tomato soup still needs milk. Mushroom soup? I can make that. Fuel. Get some wood. Need to boil onion and mushroom. One of 
of those. Two of these. Nice. Butter. Makes sense. And a bowl of strawberries, which I don't have any of, unfortunately. Not enough room in the inventory again. Alright, hold on. All kinds of tea. There we go. What kind of hairnet would a bear wear for cooking? A full body one. He just put himself in a full mesh outfit. Where's that food I just made? There we go. Cool. That's a different kind of bear bear, yeah. Very true. There's the food score. Yo, look at those rooms. Those are some fancy ass rooms, dude. I'd stay there. All right, let's do this. We can satisfy everybody's needs. Let's go. No matter who, you are all taken care of here. All right. There you go. And uh, there you go. Excellent. Hell, let's build some more rooms. Build some downstairs rooms. How much money do I got? Oh, never mind. <laughs> Gotta wait for some guests. What time is it? It's almost bedtime, right? I wonder if I need a front desk to rent out the campfire. I'm broke as hell, yeah. Got the three bedrooms. Hmm. I wonder how we do this. Nope. Right, yeah. Okay. Maybe people just go over there when they stay? I don't think so. Feels like it's... Something I'm supposed to do, but I haven't done yet. Maybe it's like part of the quest. Perhaps after we have the guests stay, I'll be able to do that. Let me go ahead and put some stuff away in my inventory while we're waiting here. It said they'll seek it out. Uh, all right. Yeah, that's right. Yeah, the tutorial message didn't did say that, didn't it? Okay, so I guess it'll just work itself out. Yeah, I don't need these shabby wooden beds anymore. I'll probably just store that sitting log. I guess I could have put those rustic end tables in something. I could put the vanities in there too. I yeah, might as well. There you go. There you go. That's pretty good. Can you break down old furniture? Maybe. Not right now, I don't think. Maybe at some point, though. Kind of starting to wonder whether or not I should keep taking all the junk I find. Got seven slots now. Let's put away this small plywood table, too. And I guess the diner stools, yeah. There we go. Put a vanity in the hallway. Couldn't hurt, right? Need a little lamp for this dining room, too. Go snag one from the dumpster real quick. Chunky rustic lamp. There we go. That's looking nice. That really brings the room together. In fact, 
Perfect. There we go. Even better. That is a chunky lamp, yeah. I'm not wrong, I guess. Accurate description. Alright. Time to sleep. Just plop down right on the floor there. It's your building after all, right? All right, 219 gained. 13 guests have arrived. We've got new stay requests. Hi, guys. Oh, come on in. Don't mind us, just gonna be building a whole new bedroom while you're here. Bathroom too, I guess, huh? Go ahead and get these guys again. Ooh, running out of copper plates. All right, that's good to know. Let's see here. Build a nice bathroom right near the middle of this area here. Separate the kitchen from the bedrooms, ideally. There we go. That's not ideal, but... I'll take it, I guess. I feel like I can do better here. Hold on. Oh, that's a little awkward. Um, yeah, no, that's fine. That works. Just scooch by the bathtub on your way into the toilet. Easy. Oh, don't forget a don't forget a window. Don't forget a huge window in there, so everybody can see. There it is. All right, bedroom time? I got enough for one. We'll do something like three by four here. Yeah, that's probably good. That works. Uh, I need more uh, bedroom stuff again. I think I got enough for a fancy bed. We've got an elegant wardrobe already. We need a cute, comfy footrest. We got a vanity for him. Okay. Do, do, do. Dead center bed. Or not. Eh, yeah, close enough. Vanity there. Perfect. Wardrobe ain't gonna fucking fit in here. Oh, it is? Well, oh, that works. <laughs> Honestly, that looks kind of good. I don't mind that too much. And then just go ahead and plop that down at the bottom there. Perfect. Who needs space, right? They got this taken care of. That's all That's all perfect. That's all exactly what they need. Can't actually get in the, in the room, but the room certainly looks good, right? Good luck opening the wardrobe. I mean, when do you actually use the wardrobe on vacation, right? Come on, it's just for looks. It's just for show. Claustrophobic? You mean efficient. You mean economical. Taking advantage of the available space. Speaking of which. Real cozy, right? Yeah. <laughs> this is as far as he gets. <laughs> They might actually not even be able to go in there. Hold on. I should probably, should probably move the footrest at least. Well, then again. Ah, let's, let's get that out of there. There we go. See, at least you can kind of move around in it now. The lamp blocks it too. God damn it. Oh, swap the door in the lamp? Yeah, that'd probably be better, huh? Shit. Yeah, there we go, dude. That's better. Perfect. That's all they need. Let's get someone in there. Bedroom four.
This person expects higher than average food during their stay. Well, thankfully I can provide, my friend. Mr. Zachary. Sick, dude. This place is coming along. All right. Let's go see if we can find a way to make bread. So we can make that egg dippy. Get some more valuables too. So we can get some more stuff from uh, Took. Good news, foodie. We have mashed potatoes, apples, and tea. Dude, if you like tea, you have come to the right place. We got you covered, buddy. Covered in tea, that is. We'll dump it on you. You don't even get to drink it. You just feel it all over your body. Oh, shit. Tugboat? There's a kitty there, apparently. I gotta save the cat. Okay, we need pinewood planks and iron nails. I think we have some pinewood planks stored away. Yes, we do. Oh, wait, that's plywood. I'm out of pinewood? Oh, I don't have enough pinewood. Let's go get some loot then, shit. Boo, doo, doo. Hotel and spa? Right, yeah, you get it all here. Somebody tagged this staircase, dude. Didn't realize that was the kind of place we were living in. Of all the people that we've seen so far, who do you think is the most likely to have tagged this staircase? Who's playing Jet Set Radio out here? Gus, immediately. Yeah, all right. Must be. Barbara, that's an interesting choice. That was probably fucking Sabine, wasn't it? There's mushrooms out there that say they can give you the worst nightmares. I could sure go for some right now. All right, yeah, we heard her say that. Got weirded out by that before. Can't go that way. Still just walled off. Looking for more pinewood planks. There's a few. And we gotta find some nails. Which we'll probably have to go back to the junkyard for nails. Hello. Yo, loggers tools, moose carving plaque, and a guitar stand. Level four decorative objects. Don't mind if I do. What a find. Dude, I've got to place some of that. That's, that's going in the luxury suite, I'll tell you what. Putting that with all the other fancy stuff. Do, 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 do. All right, we're still walled off here, right? Yep, no can do. Gotta be something going on with this building. Just can't do it yet. Okay. Get some stone stuff. Oh, another chest. Corn on the cob and popcorn. Oh, fun. All right. Yes, please. We'll go put that in our food service. Yay. Oh, that looks like it might have some nails. A little junk up there. Pretty little river. Ah, just plates. That's still good, though. Strawberries? Hey, nice. And we're back to Julia's. No new recipes. A little corn, though. Some apples. Ah, oh, this looks like we might be able to... Jeweler's kit for the Onyx Fawn. Okay. Cool. 
Keep an eye out for that, too. We still need the prospector's stuff to clear out a few more pathways, too. Pinewood? Nice. All right, let's head to the junkyard and get some nails, and then we'll come back and build that thing. I think we got enough pinewood by now. Go ahead and uh, put some of those fancy new things we got in the uh, luxury suite. Actually, let's let's doll up Timber Crossing a little bit with these things. Oh, hello, new quest. Raise the prestige to level four. Can do. I was just about to do that anyway. Moose carving plaque. That's going right up on this wall. Move this window over the bed here. Moose carving plaque. Boom. Fancy as hell. Guitar stand. That's a that's a community guitar. As much as I know I'm going to regret that, even saying it out loud sounds like the wrong idea. I'll make that a community guitar. All right, we got to get this prestige level up. That's mostly just decoration, right, for the prestige? Or is that like a collective score of everything? We got 78 junk or valuables. Got to be careful here. Cuckoo clock. That sounds like fun. Large forest painting. Yes, please. Let's get... Uh, trying to get the stuff that's got a higher decor score. Let's see here. There's a, it's a bear carving, not a small teddy bear, but it is still pretty damn nice. Yeah, I think we'll go ahead and pick up another one of those. Uh, let's go with some end shells. You can put those in the hallway, too. Ah, jeez, the inventory's full again. Oh, boy. Hang on. All right, yeah, we got a bed that we can put in the bedroom here, too. I'm going to put these away for now. And then I guess... Man, there's a lot of corn on the cob we got, shit. We'll put that stuff in there later. That's a good question, Lord. I don't, I don't really know. I'm guessing upgrading and putting new stuff in would probably be best. Why not both.jpg, right? Let's go ahead and swap this bed for a slightly better one. Honestly, I don't think I actually need to do that. I think we'll be able to get enough of an upgrade with just putting some more decorative things in here. We won't be able to see that, but we'll know it's there. Okay, that bumped up the prestige pretty significantly. He's a widow baby bear. Mm-hmm. I'm curious just to see if this is going to bump up the prestige at all. Just having this in there. It does. Okay, so yeah, you want to put some fancy stuff in the bedrooms too. So maybe upgrade the stuff in the bedrooms would be a good call. That is already a cushion footrest, but cute, comfy footrest would be even better. Although it doesn't really fit. So never mind. Hmm. Yeah, we just got to get fancier stuff. Let's do an elegant wardrobe instead of a simple one. There we go. And then let's put this away for a second. Replace this bed with something slightly fancier. Let's go ahead and build a new one real quick. I want to go back to the storage. Rustic Delight. Oh, I don't have nails. All right, we'll do a cozy butterscotch bed. I think that one's actually a little smaller, and that's why it's 
An alternative option. Yeah, it looks like it. That works pretty well there. I like that. That looks nice. Cute comfy footrest unfortunately doesn't fit, but maybe the cushion one will. There we go. Prestige is getting up there. I'll put this away again and go ahead and build another butterscotch bed for this. Nice. Do, 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 do. Lovely. I'll put this away. Get an elegant wardrobe in there. Maybe the low level stuff didn't really increase prestige in the first place. It's possible, yeah. We actually had to have this stuff in order to get it at all. Rustic end table. It's probably a slight upgrade to this thing. Actually, I think those are the same. All right, we just need more decorative stuff. I also want to make sure there's people actually staying here right now. Yeah, we're good. We can probably go ahead and take some more requests too, though. Oh, they do want this uh, comfort leveled up, which thankfully we can provide in bedroom three now. There you go. And 23 decor. Which is only in bedroom three. I'm gonna need some upgrades there as well. There you go. Okay. Let's head back to the dumpster. Lots of valuables, nice. Hey, Took. You hang out with trash, you start to smell like garbage. Rich and appetizing. <laughs> He's a good lad. Sixty one. Let's get a wall tapestry. That sounds like fun, although it's only two decor, unfortunately. I feel like we could use another lamp. Rocking sheep. Orderly wood pile. Okay. I'm down with that. Walnut cupboard. Sure. Hopefully that's enough. Uh, it's bear taffy. Jish. E A E R T A F F Y Bear Taffy. Is the epic creator code. Thank you for using it. Appreciate that. Orderly wood pile. Right there, right? Yeah, hold on. Move the guitar up. Or like right there. That works. Orderly wood pile down here, right behind the desk. I want to have it outside, but. I guess that's acceptable. Walnut cupboard right there? Sure. And then a chunky rustic lamp. Down here in the corner. Perfect. Ah, that prestige is so close. Hmm. I like having these right outside the door. I'm gonna put this on here. We can't do that? Ah, oh, come on now. Hmm. Trying to think what else we could do here. Oh, they look so cozy and comfy. Another lamp might do it. Yeah, maybe. I don't know where to put these flower vases. An end table, I guess? That could work. Oh, an end table at the end of this hallway. Ah, oh, it doesn't fit. That eh, fits that way, I guess. That's not bad. Eh. Oh my god, it's so close. Let's get a... 
Let's get another lamp for this bedroom. That might do it. And then maybe we'll have to get one more decorative thing. Oh, yeah. A big rug, actually, for this part, too. Could be good. How much... How many valuables? I have one valuable. All right. We got to go find some more. Let's go down to A24. I bet they've got some valuables. Oh, there's more here, too. Nice. That was convenient. Boo, do, do, do. Hey, guys. Where's your junk? I need you to drop your junk on the ground, please. Nothing, huh? Oh, boy. Where's the valuables at? Uh, I'm gonna have to wait till the next day here. All right. I'll check the desk here too. Nice. Achievement unlocked. Go getter. What's that mean? Earn ten thousand coins. Oh damn. Load it again. Oh, and there's some valuables. Nice. All right. Let's see. Oh, we can increase the hygiene score of this bathroom now. We should do that. Didn't even think about that. How's my inventory looking? Eh, I got enough spots. Doo, 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 doo. Upgrade. Where's it at? There we go. We are completely out of copper plates. We got one left. Oof. Modest toilet. Where'd my bathtub go? Did I actually not make those things? I didn't, did I? God damn it, right? Because I didn't have enough inventory space. Oh, they must have gone to my storage. If you make the thing and then you don't have enough room, it goes to the storage, right? That's what's going on with this stuff. It must be. No, I made it, but it just didn't make it. It spent the resources, but it didn't make the thing. That kind of sucks. So it definitely used the resources, but... Oh, right. Yeah, there we go. Thank you. Yeah, this is what the... Okay, that's right. I forgot about that system. Okay. So there we go. And then organize again. Right, you gotta click this button for items you might have lost. Because you can just do this now, too, and then... There we go. Okay. Okay, yeah, we didn't actually lose it. Just... So there's that extra front desk that I didn't end up using, either. Okay, so get these back. Close this. Organize. There we go. Going without a bathroom for a minute here. That's not gonna work, is it? Shit. I don't know about the double door situation in here anymore. I have to just choose one. I guess it's working for him, right? I don't know if it is actually. Honestly, I have no idea. Maybe that's functional. <laughs> God. What a mess. Hold on. This is... We're gonna go ahead and put this wall lamp over here. Above the sink, maybe. Or maybe something like that. There we go. Move this into the corner, even though it's still not working for me. Towel rack there, right? And then... How's this not fit in there? Is it the toilet? Let's do this. Door goes here. Oh, right. Yeah, the possum. Toilet goes there. Doesn't fit. How does it not fit? Son of a bitch. 
I think we might actually have to put the door on this side, which is fine anyway. There we go. All right, that's fine. Still have the possum clock up too. Nice. That'll work. Okay. There's that hygiene score up. For everybody, looking good. Okay. Let's take another uh, couple of guests here. Should be able to take care of most of their needs. Need a 14 comfort that can easily be accommodated. 13, no sweat. We'll get you right here. Got an 11, there you go. We got a five with a 14. I'll take that in this one. 10 there and then an eight there, nice. Filled in at the A24, good stuff. Still gotta find some more valuables though. Only found a few there. All right, we were gonna go look for more steel nails too. While we're here, might as well go over to the junkyard. Let's do it. Why are you mad? What's wrong? Why are you pissed? No. I did something wrong in his eyes. Job's complete. Congrats, you're one step forward for escaping mediocrity. But you're not there yet. Further improvements available. Build two level one bathrooms in A24. Sure. Seems a little unnecessary. Oh wait, no, I've already done it, right? Uh, does it literally have to be a level one? It can't be a level two? Is that the problem here? Because that's real silly. Because I guess I can just go over here and replace my shitty level one stuff. I don't know why it being level 2 would prohibit it from meeting the requirement. Here. You like that more? Yep, that's what he wanted. So be it. Your global rating is no longer junk. Guests will now have higher expectations for this location and offer more money. Fanny pack? Yes! Yes! Yes, right? As good as is gonna mean doubles base inventory size. What? That's good. Thanks. Build three level three bedrooms. I can do that. I can absolutely do that. Okay, inventory is not a problem anymore. Let's go, dude. That's awesome. Get this fixed up again real quick here. Do, 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 do. Sweet. All right. All right, yeah, we already got the level three bedrooms too. Nice. Done and done. Feel like you need a vacation? There's no time for that. Keep it up. Keep working. Never stop working. Okay. If you say so. Raise the prestige to level four for 400 coins. Okay. Yep. Thanks. All right. Another one. Build one level three bathroom and host two guests with the with the hygienic trait. Uh, yes. I would like the blueprint to increase the bathroom quality, please. I don't believe I have that ability yet. That's fine, though. I'll deal with that later. Do, 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 do. How am I doing on valuables? Only 15. Inventory's not a problem now, though. Let's go to the junkyard. Oh, he's got a quest. You seem like you barely know how to put one foot in front of the other. I'm not surprised. Excuse me? Tell me, child, do you reckon with the wild? Do you flirt with the bizarre? Beckon the uncharted? 
I've been known to occasionally look away in the distance. I did it earlier today. No, I didn't think so. You don't look the part. You've never set foot in a shadow darker than your mother's. If you think these lands are young, you're greener than the crudest sapling. There's nothing to fear but those who fear nothing. The hell are you talking about? Fine, I guess I'm lucky to stumble upon something with pockets. I got a fanny pack, too. Did you just call me a something? I hope for your sake they're not empty. Say you wouldn't happen to know anything about all the humans showing up out of nowhere, would you? I, uh, I might have had a hand in that. Well, there's no stopping them now, is there? Once they start coming back, they'll keep coming. I won't complain. Business has been slow since that dreadful blaze. I didn't know the fire reached all the way out here. Oh, the fire wasn't even close to the worst of it, lad. The shouting, the anger, the pain, as if the gods were waging war over us. Maybe they were. Now you're getting it. Anyway, you might be taking care of the motel, but there's a clear lack of stuff to bite on around here. Something that old diner was a sweet spot for. If you can get it back up to speed, I'm pretty sure you'll get more people to come over. Let's go! Diner time. Yes. Guess what? I already cleared the diner. Yep. Done. Yep. Done. Oh, I'm not done. I need... Oh, I don't have any copper plates. Right, shit. Okay, yeah. Double reason to go to the junkyard. Let's do it. Copper plates and steel nails, please. Or whatever kind of nails we needed. In we go. Copper plate. Nice. Mm-hmm. Steel screw. I think that's not what we needed, though. I think it was something else. I'm sure those are useful. I'm sure those are useful, though. Do, 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 do. That seems to be the only kind of thing like that I'm finding, though, so maybe it was those. Yeah, I still don't have to think for that. A few left up here. Nice. Alright, hopefully that's enough. Let's go find out. I wonder if I looked at that thing already. Yeah, I did. Right, yeah. That's what he said. <laughs> I forgot about that. Boo -doo -doo. A screw can be a nail if you're determined enough. I feel pretty determined. All there. Let's do it. Greedy ingredients complete. All right, cool. This is fun. Oh, and then a back door for the kitchen, of course. This doesn't belong to me. I mean, you build it, you get it, right? I'm pretty sure that's the, that's the rule. How's the diner repair going? It's done. You should know, child, there's nothing more treacherous on this green earth than humans. Those bald gremlins. They know nothing of this world, yet they consume it. The Dark Spirit will be angry with their return! You really freak me out when you do that. I suppose they do bring their own fortunes. Which, of course, they don't share willingly. We have to pray or become prey. Or scavenge like rats! I don't suppose you've had any, uh, bad dreams lately. No, none. I sleep like a baby. Yeah, big honest baby. Don't worry, she only bites when she's told. And there's no one to tell her yes. Or no. Cool. Oh, sweet! Yo, butter and eggs! Nice. Get some of those. Get some milk. Get some sugar. Get some bread. Get some cheese. Some flour, some pasta. I can't afford it. I spent all my money. Oh shit! That happened quick. Yay, food! All right. 
So we still don't have a lot of valuables, unfortunately. Let's go see if there's any more in Timber Crossing. And then we can maybe go uh, repair that last thing up in, um, what's it called? Highland? Yeah. Now oh, we got those screws. Oh, yeah, we can make the uh, egg dippy. Nice. God, I'm so happy we got that fanny pack. Jump cut to he's also filled up the fanny pack inventory. I found some valuables. Not a lot. I feel like I just need one big rug to really tie the room together. And then we'll hit that prestige level. Let's see if we can afford that. Not quite. Literally one valuable away. There it is. Perfect. Humnal medium rug, too expensive. Medium stitched rug, too expensive. Intricate medium rug, just right. Except no, also too expensive. But medium red rug, much cheaper. Same decor uh, stat, so that'll work. Now, sadly, the fanny pack doesn't appear to show up on my character. That would be adorable, though. How's that? Right, right there. Right there. There it is. Yo, just what we needed. Perfect. It did indeed tie the room together. Job complete. Nice. Further improvements. Build one level three bedroom and host two guests with the pampered trade. Okie dokie. There's that train we all think is an actual train, but it isn't. Oh, wait a minute, what? Oh, that's to Pinefall, right, yeah. Right. Honestly, I should probably just take the bus, but oh well. Okay, let's go uh, repair that one thing, and then I think I'll probably call it good for today. Made some great progress, though. Got a lot of good stuff done. Oh, I'll make the egg dippy too, right? Of course, can't not do that now that I've got the right ingredients. Let's go whip that up real quick. Ooh, valuables. Gimme, gimme, gimme. I'll take some apples too, thanks. Egg dippy. Egg dippy. Get some eggs and you boil them up. Egg dippy. Roast the bread. Fuel is wood. Do the things you know you should. Make an egg dippy. Make an egg dippy. Do 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 do. Cook it up. We can make the tomato soup now, too. Boil, boil. Roast. No, raw. Raw herbs. Just the one. The fuel is wood. 69 wood. Nice. Nice. There we go. One milk. Boiled course and tomatoes real fancy food real fancy food getting all the best stuff and that does sound nice crunchy but creamy where it counts not the first time I've heard that unfortunately Do we get a soup song too? No soup song for you!
All right. Go repair this. Serve him his egg dippy. Wait, where was he? He was kind of far away, wasn't he? Maybe we'll do that next time. I also can't exactly remember where this thing was. Mm-hmm. I think it was up this way. Is this it? No, nah, this is the thing he wants cartoons on. Yeah, he's in the dark gloom or gloom grove or whatever the heck it is. Not this one, right? That was this thing I had to repair. It was southwest of the cabin. Yeah, I think you're right, actually. I think it was not down here, but complete opposite direction, actually. Such a great little soundtrack for this one. I like this game a lot. This is the end of the road down here, though, right? Oh, shoot. Hmm. I might have to find that next time, too. I don't remember exactly where that was. Why is the sleep option available? Oh, <laughs> would have gotten me to 8 a.m. That makes sense. Head north off the bridge. Ah, there we go. It is nails, dude. Yeah, we got a bunch of screws. We haven't found any iron nails. I wonder if there's anywhere we could buy those. Huh. All right, well, keep a lookout for some iron nails at some point. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Y'all satisfied here? Feeling pretty good? Liking the rooms? How's the bathroom? Treating you well? Yeah? Good. Okay. I seem happy here. Well, I want to see him eat. Go have breakfast. Go have some mashed potatoes. Where y'all going? You checking out already? You guys bailing? Looks like it. Yep, they're out of here, dude. All right, see ya. I think, we, I think that means we gotta fill these rooms again, right? Yes, indeed. Okay. I think, yeah, these guys are doing pretty damn well here. Oh, they got some uh, more luxurious food requests, though. Thankfully, we did just make some fancy-ass food. Let's give them just what they're looking for here. With the uh, tomato soup. Ah, I don't want to give them the egg dippy, though. Let's get the uh, corn on the cob in there, too. Sounds good. Boost our score a little bit. Windy day. 17. There we go. That'll work. Give me the one with the least decor since you don't really need it. We got some hygienic folks coming in. In you go. In you go. And that'll work. Easy peasy. Okay. That'll do it for today, y'all. Fun stuff. This has been a great playthrough so far, and I'm very excited to continue it. Uh, most likely tomorrow morning. Thanks for watching. Hope you guys have been enjoying. This has been just super laid back and fun.